What up YouTube fans, this is Zuby Masters starting my Let's Play of Jack and Daxter for the Precursor Legacy. Yes. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. <coughs> Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey! Ah, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. So obviously we should go. with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk! Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly! <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time! Where did they go? Why did they build this crap? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? Uh, uh oh. We're in trouble. Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh. uh oh. Oh. Man, that stung. I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened. What? Oh boy. Okay, okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. 
None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you! Get <laughs> in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Ugh. How do you- how would you even do that? There we go. There's our dark geek. There's our green eco right there. That gives us health. These floating egg shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Alright. There's our power cell. It's a power cell. The most important precursor artifact you can find. That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. All right. There we go. Good work! The Blue Eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have made dormant for years. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are 
a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. All right. Then. You can jump once and jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. There we go. Why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Okay, okay. Hey, we're getting you out. <laughs> Hey, baby, what do you say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? <laughs> Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. All right then. Sandover Village. Gears up there, boy. See them? Mm -hmm. See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Oh, oh, you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam. I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. Uh, I don't care about politics, a, but oh, I'm sure I'll take... 90 because you're old. I'm not sure I'll take a power cell. <laughs> Two. Oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get them back into the corral? Sure. 
sure if you got a power cell in it for us. Which I bet you do. Let's get these yak cows in the corral now. Get along. That's one. That's two. Oh, you're your team energetic. Alright. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, there we go. You see some feathers on. Looks like bird to him. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff, and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor, and I'll give you a power cell. Okay. Bye. 
over here. Where are you hiding, Lux? Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dag nasty. Yep. We go. There we go. A power cell. If you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and you'll poison the whole darn catch. Oh, man. Steady. Hold steady. Here comes a big one. 
hundred pounds a fish. All right. I'd rather a couple of landlubbers. Here's the powers that I promised. And you can use my boat the village dock whenever you like. All right. Uh, uh. Wow. Slam dunk. There we go. All right then. Yeah. Yeah, so we got a precursor. 
Nice and launchy here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! Here we go. Power cell. Oh. oh. machine and break the mirror diverting the precursor beam. All right.
the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with him. Use it. Line up the beam by pointing it at the next tower. Got it. <laughs> nice. Hey, we can follow the beam to find the next tower. Tell that windbag of a mayor. And that he owes us big time for connecting the yeah. village energy beam. Hold 
dann äh, power to the village and guaranteed my reception <laughs> and for that my boy you earned a power cell all right oh slam dunk <laughs> let's trade so, it so you uh, want to make a contribution good a, a sizable one i hope you <laughs> okay, calm down there, big guy. I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. Caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, <laughs> I was to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, <laughs> might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. All right, then. I see you two are back to make the train. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? Yeah, here you go. I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, ta-ta, bye-bye. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you like it and stay tuned.